How are sugars and coffee plants produced? Plants have the capacity to produce sugars and other chemical compounds, which serve them as source of energy for their growth. In the case of coffee plants, these accumulated sugars promote the development of sweetness in cherries, which is later reflected in the sweet notes of the cup profile. What conditions enhance the development of sugars in the plant? All plants produce sugars, but there are some factors associated to the environmental offer that make the plant consume sugars at a higher rate. One of these factors is temperature, which is determinant. At higher temperatures, the plant must work harder and therefore it has to consume its sugar reserves. This means that at lower temperatures, there are better chances of sugar accumulation in the cherry. This factor is associated to altitude, since at higher elevations there are lower temperatures at which the plant slows down its production process and gets to accumulate more sugar quantity. In Colombia, the region of Nariño serves as a good example. It presents a combination of factors such as a solar radiation more than 1,600 hours on average during the year, a precipitation more than 1,800 millimeters of rain per year, and soils with a high organic matter content. These elements, and the region's steep topography and canyons that make possible for the coffee bush to grow at higher altitudes and temperatures averaging 19.9 degrees Celsius with average values of maximum 25.9 degrees Celsius and minimum of 16 degrees Celsius. These different factors explain why Nariño's coffee is produced at heights reaching up to 2,300 meters above sea level in areas that present lower average temperatures compared with most of the coffee growing zones worldwide. As the coffee plant reacts at lower temperatures, it develops a slower metabolism protecting itself against an environment that is considered adverse. This way, the development of certain groups of molecules such as proteins and sugars are favored in their quantity and also in its specific type. This feature is associated with the distinguishing sweet taste of some high-altitude coffees in Colombia, like Nariño. The high sugar content is one of the most important precursors in quality. During roasting process, these sugars react generating as a result sweet notes that are commonly found in quality coffees. Next time you taste those sweet notes in coffee that you love, think about the mountains where those beans grew and enjoy.